and I will provide them. Or, yes. What? Will you get it, sir? You get it, sir? Okay, and... Well, I know where you get it, sir. I can't hear you. I know where you get it, sir. I know where you get it, sir. Okay. I know the sun at the present and the rest. Yes. Now, the mat is out. Give your voice a certain uh, solemn intonation. No, please don't. Don't do any extra work. Just no, read it. Make it easy. Don't make easy for anyone. Just read it in a very solemn and very, I wouldn't say emotional, solemn.
criminal case 4061, uh, attorney general against Adolf, the son of Karl, of Adolf Karl Eichmann, aged 54. Ask the accused to rise. You, Adolf, son of Adolf Karl Eichmann, you are represented in this case by Dr. Robert Servatius and Mr. Dieter Wertenbruch. You are accused before this court according to the indictment, which includes 15 counts. I will read the indictment to you, and it will be translated for you into the German. Tell him that he can remove the earphones now. This is the indictment against you presented by the Attorney General. Adolf, the son of Adolf Karl Eichmann, is accused hereby. First count, nature of offense, crime against the Jewish people, an offense under Section 1A1 of the Nazis and Nazi Collaborators Punishment Law 5710-1950 and Section 23 of the Criminal Code Ordinance 1936. Particulars of offense. The accused, together with others during the period 1939 to 1945, caused the killing of millions of Jews in his capacity as the person responsible for the execution of the Nazi plan for the physical extermination of the Jews, known as the final solution of the Jewish problem. Immediately after the outbreak of the Second World War, the accused was appointed head of a department of the Gestapo in Berlin, the duties of which were to locate, deport, and exterminate the Jews of Germany and the other Axis countries and the Jews of occupied areas. That department bore in succession the following distinctive numbers 4D4, 4B4, 4A4. I request silence in court. C. Instructions for the execution of the plan of extermination in Germany were given by the accused directly to local commanders of the Gestapo, while in Berlin, Vienna and Prague, the instructions of the accused were issued to central authorities, Zentralstelle für jüdische Auswanderung, for the direction of which the accused was personally responsible until their liquidation towards the end of the Second World War. D. In areas occupied by Germany, the accused acted through the offices of the commanders of the security police and the SD, and through those persons specially nominated to deal with Jewish affairs who were appointed from the department of the accused in the Gestapo and were subject to his instructions. E. In Axis countries and areas conquered by them, the accused made use of the offices of the diplomatic representatives of Germany in each place in continual coordination with the special departments of the German foreign ministry in Berlin which dealt with the Jewish problem. Advisors were appointed in the offices of such diplomatic representatives from among members of the department of the accused who were subject to his instructions. F. The accused together with others secured the extermination of the Jews by, among other means, their being killed in concentration camps, the purpose of which was mass murder. 
The more important of such camps being as follows. Auschwitz. Millions of Jews were exterminated in this camp from 1941 until the end of January 1945 in gas chambers and in crematoria and by shooting and hanging. The accused directed the commanders of that camp to use gas known as Cyclone B and in 1942 and 1944 the accused also secured the supply of a quantity of gas for the extermination of the Jews. To Chelmno. This extermination camp was operated from November 1941 to the beginning of 1945 and poison gas among other means of extermination was used therein. Three bell sets. This extermination camp was operated from the beginning of 1942 until the spring of 1943 and poison gas, among other means of extermination, was used therein. 4. Sobibor. This extermination camp was operated from March 1942 until October 1943, and there were erected there, among other buildings, erected for purposes of extermination, five stone gas chambers. 5. Treblinka. This extermination camp was operated from July 23, 1942, until November 1943. Also in this camp, poison gas, among other means of extermination, was used. 6. Majdanek. This extermination camp was operated from 1941 until July 1944, and poison gas, among other means of extermination, was used therein. G. Immediately after the invasion of Poland by the German army in September 1939, the accused committed acts of expelling, uprooting, and exterminating the population in coordination with massacre squads recruited from the ranks of the German security police and the SS, which were known by the name of operational groups, Einsatzgruppen. Groups of this nature also operated after the invasion of Russia in 1941 and advanced in the steps of the German army. These groups received their orders directly from the Reich security head office RSHA and each such group cooperated with the accused in the extermination of the Jews in the area of its jurisdiction. These groups operated in the main on the Sabbath and Jewish festivals which days were selected for the slaughter of Jews. These groups exterminated hundreds of thousands of Jews in the area occupied by Germany and Poland. H. Before the invasion by the German army of areas of Russia and the Baltic countries, Lithuania, Latvia, and Estonia, which were annexed to Russia. Four operational groups were organized by the Reich Security Head Office, RSHA, which cooperated with the accused in the extermination of Jews in the areas referred to, and in that portion of Poland which was annexed to Russia after September 1939. The activities of such groups included the following acts, Inter alia. 1. Operational Group A. During the first four months of the invasion of the areas above mentioned by the German army, this group exterminated in Lithuania more than 80,000 Jews, in Latvia more than 30,000 Jews, in Estonia about 470 Jews, in Bielo, Russia more than 7,600 Jews, in Russia about 2,000 Jews, in the district of Tilsit, about 5,500 Jews, a total of more than 135,000 Jews. Two, Operational Group B, up to November 9, 14, 1941, this group exterminated more than 45,000 Jews in Bayelo, Russia, and other areas. Three, Operational Group C, up to November 3, 1941, this group exterminated more than 75,000 Jews in the Ukraine, including 33,000 Jews of Kiev. For Operational Group D, up to December 12, 1941, this group exterminated about 54,000 Jews. Five, during the period from August to November 1942, the operational groups referred to above exterminated some 363,000 Jews. 
aircrafts. The operational groups above mentioned operated in the same manner and for the same purpose in the said districts in the extermination of the Jews from June 1941 until 1944 and exterminated hundreds of thousands of Jews in addition to those detailed above. I. At the end of 1941, the accused ordered the deportation of thousands of Jews from Germany, Austria, and Czechoslovakia, protectorate, to ghettos in Riga, Kovno, and Minsk. These Jews were exterminated and inter alia, one, a number of such Jews deported from the Reich, Germany, were murdered on the 30th of November 1941, together with some 4,000 Jews from Riga, two, some 3,500 Jews from Germany who were sent to Minsk, as aforesaid, pursuant to instructions issued by the accused, were exterminated by an operational group in Biolo, Russia, together with 55,000 more Jews who were residents of that district. J. During the years 1940 to 1945, the accused, together with others, caused the killing of hundreds of thousands of Jews in forced labor camps, which were conducted in the lines of concentration camps, and in which such Jews were enslaved, tortured, and starved to death in Germany and in countries occupied by Germany. K. The accused, together with others, caused the killing of still more hundreds of thousands of Jews during the years 1939 to 1945 in Germany and the other Axis countries and the areas occupied by them by their mass deportation and concentration in ghettos and other concentration points under cruel and inhuman conditions, that is to say, in the following countries, Germany, Austria, Italy, Bulgaria, Belgium, USSR, and the Baltic states, Lithuania, Latvia, and Estonia, which were annexed to the USSR, and that part of Poland, which was annexed to the SSR after September 1939, Denmark, Holland, Hungary, Yugoslavia, Greece, Luxembourg, Monaco, Norway, Poland, Czechoslovakia, France, Romania. L. The accused caused the killing of some half a million Hungarian Jews by means of their mass deportation to the extermination camp at Auschwitz and other places during the period from the 19th of March 1944 to the 24th of December 1944 at a time when he acted as head of the Eichmann Special Operations Unit Zonder Einsatz Kommando Eichmann in Budapest. M. All the acts mentioned in this count were committed by the accused with the intention of destroying the Jewish people. Uh, this is a translation into the German of the indictment. The accused may remove his earphones because he will be hearing the German interpretation. The interpreter is requested to turn towards the prisoner. Erster Anklagepunkt. Art der Straftat. Verbrechen gegen das jüdische Volk. Eine Straftat laut Paragraph 1a1 des Gesetzes zur Aburteilung der Nazis und ihrer Helfer. 5710, 1950 und Paragraph 23 der Strafgesetzordnung 1936. Einzelheiten der Straftat. Der Angeklagte verursachte in der Zeit von 1939 bis 1945 die Tötung von Millionen von Juden in seiner damaligen Eigenschaft als Beauftragter für die Ausführung des Naziplans zur physischen Vernichtung der Juden, der als sogenannte Entlösung der Judenfrage bekannt ist. b. Unmittelbar nach Ausbruch des Zweiten Weltkrieges wurde der Angeklagte zum Leiter eines Referates der Gestapo in Berlin bestellt, das beauftragt war, die Juden Deutschlands und der übrigen Achsenländer sowie deren besetzten Gebieten zu erfassen, zu deportieren und zu vernichten. Diese Abteilung trug sukzessiv die folgenden Kennnummern 4D4, 4B4, 4A4. C. Die Durchführungsbestimmungen des Vernichtungsplanes wurden in Deutschland direkt vom Angeklagten den örtlichen Gestapo-Leitstellen gegeben, während in Berlin, Wien und Prag 
die Weisungen des Angeklagten, zentralen Behörden, Zentralstelle für jüdische Auswanderung, gegeben wurden, für deren Leitung er bis zu ihrer Auflösung gegen Ende des Zweiten Weltkrieges persönlich verantwortlich war. In den D. In den von Deutschland besetzten Gebieten handelte der Angeklagte mittels der Dienststellen des Befehl, der Befehlshaber der Sicherheitspolizei und des SD und der Sonderbeauftragten für Judenangelegenheiten, die aus Angehörigen des Referates des Angeklagten in der Gestapo heraus ernannt worden waren und seinen Weisungen unterstanden. E. In den Achsenländern und deren besetzten Gebieten bediente sich der Angeklagte der auswärtigen Vertretungen Deutschlands an den einzelnen Orten und zwar in ständigem Benehmen mit den besonderen Abteilungen des Deutschen Auswärtigen Amtes in Berlin, die die jüdische Frage behandelten. Bei diesen Vertretungen wurden Sachberater aus Angehörigen des Referates des Angeklagten ernannt, die seinen Weisungen unterstanden. F. Der Angeklagte verwirklichte, zusammen mit anderen, die Vernichtung der Juden, unter anderem durch ihre Tötung in Konzentrationslagern, deren Zweck Massenmord war. Die wichtigsten darunter waren... 1. Auschwitz. Hier wurden Millionen von Juden vom Jahre 1941 an bis Ende Januar 1945 in Gaskammern, in Krematorien, durch Erschießen und Erhängen vernichtet. Der Angeklagte wies die Kommandantin dieses Lagers an, das Gas Zyklon B anzuwenden und sorgte in den Jahren 1942 und 1944 auch für die Lieferung einer Menge Gas zum Zwecke der Vernichtung der Juden. 2. Chelmno. Dieses Vernichtungslager wurde von Monat November 1941 bis Anfang 1945 betrieben und dort wurden unter anderem Giftgase angewandt. 3. Belsetz. Dieses Vernichtungslager wurde von Anfangs 1942 bis zum Frühjahr 1943 betrieben und dort wurden unter anderem Giftgase angewandt. 4. Sobibor. Dieses Vernichtungslager wurde vom März 1942 bis Oktober 1943 betrieben und dort wurden unter anderem fünf steinerne Gaskammern errichtet. 5. Treblinka. Dieses Vernichtungslager wurde vom 23.07.1942 bis zum Monat November 1943 betrieben. Auch da wurden unter anderem Giftgase angewandt. 6. Majdanek. Dieses Vernichtungslager wurde vom Jahre 1941 an bis zum Monat Juli 1944 betrieben und dort wurde unter anderem Giftgas angewandt. G. Unmittelbar nach der Invasion Polens durch die deutsche Armee im September 1939 führte der Angeklagte Deportierungs-, Aussiedlungs- und Vernichtungsmaßnahmen durch und zwar im Benehmen mit Massakereinheiten die aus den Reihen der deutschen Sicherheitspolizei und der SS rekrutiert und die unter dem Namen Einsatzgruppen bekannt wurden. Gruppen dieser Art operierten auch nach der Invasion der Sowjetunion im Jahre 1941 und rückten der deutschen Armee nach. Diese erhielten ihre Weisungen direkt vom Reichssicherheitshauptamt RSHA und arbeiteten mit dem Angeklagten bei